Welcome! In the following tutorials, I will give an overview of a common substance workflow for fashion. Specifically, a workflow for hero assets, for high-quality content for marketing, sales, e-commerce, advertising, but also design reviews. To demonstrate this workflow, I will do two things. I will recreate a silk gazar fabric and I will texture a dress using the silk gazar fabric as its base material. I will use Substance Sampler and Substance Designer for fabric digitization and authoring, Substance Painter for texturing, and Substance Stager for rendering. All Substance apps can be downloaded from the Creative Cloud desktop app. I will try to recreate this silk gazar fabric which was provided by IACDE, first from a photo and then procedurally, to demonstrate the different options and their advantages and disadvantages. This kind of fabric has been used a lot on evening gowns and high fashion architectural dresses, as it looks luxurious but is also sturdy enough to keep elaborate shapes in place. This is a close up photo I took which I will use as a starting point for creating the material. There are a few kinds of silk gazar, and for this tutorial I will make a basket weave, which is a plain weave with a double thread, and a 3-3 twill weave, which I believe to be among the most common. I will work on this dress, which was provided by Browseware. The settings I use to export models from VSteacher to Texture in Painter are the following. I export in OBJ format, deselect avatar, garment inside and thickness, leave the scale at 1, turn on quads and off weld stitching, turn on baked textures, set the resolution to 4K pixels, select a single UV layout for all pieces, square 0 to 1, and under Advanced Settings, select Y as the app axis. Although mesh optimization is beyond the scope of this series of tutorials, there are some considerations to keep in mind when working with meshes coming from fashion design software. The dress on the left is the original model from VSteacher with its original UVs inherited from VSteacher's 2D view. This topology may be great for visualization inside VSteacher and it is also fine for texturing in Painter, but it is not ideal in some scenarios, especially when animation or close-up renders are involved. This second dress has been optimized so that its topology has a better flow with rows of quads along the edges of the patterns. Its UVs have also been placed over four UV tiles so that the resolution, and therefore the detail of the textures, is higher. Painter can currently export up to 8K textures, but has a working resolution of up to 4K, so I use several 4K tiles rather than one 8K tile, so that I can visualize the results correctly while working. This third dress is the same as the second, but subdivided twice and then reprojected onto the original Vistich address to retain its form while also retaining the tiled UV layout of the second dress. In the next video I will cover fabric capture from a photo with Substance Sampler.